Hey Tankers, it's Ace Dolenbach here, back with another video. This time something a little bit different, but nonetheless really important. It's a common question I get all the time in private messages, and sometimes on my channel people are asking me pretty regularly what kind of modifications I'm using, how do I use them, how do I install them, and just general questions that come with uh, mods and how they work, and where to obtain them. Um, Pretty much, Google's a very powerful tool that you can use to search, but I'm not going to be a jerk and just tell you Google it. Um, I'm going to show you guys this cool new uh, program I found. Well, I didn't find. A friend of mine found for me. It's called uh, the OMC Mod Pack. It's uh, really popular right now. Um, you probably have already heard of it. If you haven't, check it out. I'm going to show you guys how to use it and provide it in the description. I thought this would be a great time to show you it because the new uh, patch just went through and as a result of that, um, all the prior mods I had are no longer are out of date and are no longer installed in my client and essentially I'm operating on a stock client again. So we're going to go ahead and do a fresh install uh, using the okay, OMC guys, mod so pack. Okay guys, so here we are on the page where you can download the mod. It's uh, from Odom Mortis, I think I'm saying that right. Um, for the OMC mod pack, you're just going to go ahead and click here on the OMC mod pack and hit the download button. The file will download. It's relatively small. Make sure that before you launch this application that you've closed your world of tanks. Uh, I made that mistake earlier when I was trying to record this video and I had to go back and re-record it because it doesn't actually let you go through and do the mod install if you have the game running. You're just going to go ahead and hit next. It's going to ask you where the file location is of your world of tanks and uh, all that fun good stuff. And it'll load up relatively quickly. And see here, it's asking me where my file location is for all the tanks. It's going to do some configuring and all that good stuff. We'll just let it do its thing. There's not too much to talk about here if you've done executable files. This is a really uh, fun and easy tool you can use and saves me a lot of time and will definitely save somebody who doesn't know too much about mods and, and installation of those uh, through this means. And then boom, we're going to have these options here. And this just is a breakdown of every single mod you could possibly think about. X XVM, all these different mods, like Carousel, Six Sense mods, all of these are, this is pretty much my basic setup and what I'm using. You can just go through and select many of the different mod features and just play with them. The other thing, too, that's really cool is it also shows you a preview. You can right-click on each of the mods and it'll load up a preview of what you can see in terms of the options you have. And it'll just kind of give you a little breakdown of what you can see in terms of how it works kind of, I think it's a really cool feature. So we're just going to hit next on this. I already have selected everything I want. You can play through that. I'm going to get rid of these options. You don't need an extra shortcut for World of Tanks. I will leave a shortcut for the reconfigure. So as the mods update, I can go through and um, update them as I choose. The download's going to go through. It should be relatively quick. Um, as a, another reminder, guys, before you even start this process, do make sure that you have closed your World of Tanks application. Don't do it while the game is running. It can run into issues, and you'll have to redo the uh, installation process. I made this mistake, as I said earlier. The only thing that will happen is that you will get a small little uh, Odom Mortis-like skull symbol in the upper left-hand corner of your screen when you're playing. But if... I mean, honestly, in my mind, it's not really a big deal. I mean, it's, it's out of the way, and I don't mind having a little advertisement. It's it's so worth the uh, benefits of using this program. I'm pretty sure that there's probably other programs that do similar things out there, but this one works for me, and uh, I, I can highly recommend it. It's It's been nothing but uh, really easy for me to use. Just extracting all the files it needs for the uh, for the download. Probably going to speed this up here, assuming this is going to take probably a little while. There we go, and we're done. So you're just going to hit finish. It's going to uh, do some more calculating, I suppose. And it's going to ask me to donate, which I'm not going to do. Sorry, thank you so much for the very powerful um, the mod pack, but I don't have any money to donate to you. If I had money, I would. And let's go ahead and go to the client and see the installs. 
Okay guys, so here we are after installing the uh, mod. As you can see, the carousel mod came up. You can see all the different tanks I have listed there. It kind of helps me scroll through the many pages of tanks I have. I forget what my last count was, but it, it definitely helps. And the XVM mod installed uh, very nicely. This uh, session statistics feature is really, really useful, especially if you're trying to improve your game. I can't stress that. I think it comes standard with the XVM setup. Um, if you're having issues with the XVM, uh, I believe that you have to go to their uh, XVM website. If you Google search XVM, um, you can find it, and you have to set up and log in an account there, and it'll update the statistics for you. I think it's pr relatively simple, and that way you can see the actual statistics of every single uh, tank and stuff that your, your opponent has. And this is really cool because it shows down a breakdown, and you go into the statistics here, and you look at your vehicles, and you can kind of see where your win rates fall in line, where your efficiency falls, all those kind of, uh, your WN8, which is kind of, uh, these are just different way, uh, ways to track your performance in terms of how the game works. Um, nonetheless, a uh, really, really cool, really easy to use uh, feature that lets you install a lot of very important mods that can help improve your gameplay. So uh, that's it, guys. I hope... Uh, that you liked this uh, video. I know it's a little bit different, a little bit simpler, but nonetheless, I think a really powerful and useful tool that you can implement for uh, using and updating your mods. Thanks. As always, this is Ace Dollenbach signing off.